Hey y'all, it's Caroline. I'm back with a new video, okay? This is going to be a quick weave. Um, seven times seven lace closure. How I install it using doing a quick weave glue in. All right, so the hair we're using today is from Y Young Hair. If I'm saying the name wrong, the name will be listed in the description box for you guys to check out, okay? But this is Y Young Hair. They sent me three bundles of hair. They sent me a 26, a 26, and a 24 with a 20 lace closure. But this is not your typical lace closure. It's like your big lace closure. This is your 7 times 7 lace closure. So this is their Brazilian um, straight hair. They sent me three bundles of their straight hair. Um, the West looks okay. I didn't have no too much of beer. Um, I did experience a little bit of shedding, but not too much with this hair. Um, the closure is actually really, really, really big. Um, it's not your typical four times four closures. It's your seven times seven closures. And it did come pre-plucked. But if you don't want to deal with the hassle of doing your, um, lace frontals, you can definitely get away with your seven times seven closure. It will still give you that nice hairline that you're looking for that the frontal gave you without you um, dealing with the whole um, ear to ear lace frontal, okay? So let's just get started. All right, so starting off with our stocking cap, this is gonna be all glue, quick weave, okay? Put on my stocking cap, I am using my scissors to put holes in the ear just so that the ear tabs can lay flat. And then I'm using the Robert Diamond Bound Protective Shoe. I'm using a clear one and I'm using a black one. I'm going to use the black in the back and then I'm going to use the clear one in the front. This will just help the stockings to stay put. It will also help my hair to be protected from the glue um, so that the glue will not damage my hair or stick onto my hair. All right, once I apply the um, diamond bound protective shoe all over my head, um, if you are doing this on yourself, you can definitely use your hand dryer. It will take some time to get it dry. Um, but I just wanted to show you that you can use your hand dryer to get it dry. It will take you some time. But I did want to hair and sit on a, my hair dryer that I use for my clients. I sat under it for about um, 15 minutes to get the entire um, sh um, rubber shield bound dry completely. You do need this uh, protective shield to dry completely in order to start the process of applying the glue. Once the protective shoe was dry completely, I took my pair of scissors and cut off all the extra um, stockings in the front that I did not need. Once our wire protective shoe is completely dry, it's time to apply our 7x7 seven seven lace closure, okay? This is the closure. I did want the hair uh, and I bleached the knots just a little bit. Just so you guys can see the effect of doing a quick weave and the uh, knots being bleached and all of that. Okay, I don't usually bleach my knots, but this one I did bleach the knots. So I do go ahead and try the frontal on and I try to measure where I need the um, glue to start at in the front. I am going to be using my ghost bind glue, so I need to know where the glue is going to start in the front. Okay, and you can see that the stocking is covering my entire hair, so this is going to be non-damaging to my hair. And I did put a um, protective shoe over, so it's all good, no damage using this glue quick weave process. So the first thing I'm doing, I'm taking my foundation powder and I'm tinting 
the stockings a little bit just so that the stockings matches my skin tone so it blends seamlessly okay all right once i have my stockings tinted to my skin tone it's time for me to apply my ghost bond glue this is the only glue i have been using okay i do apply three layers of the ghost bond glue so my hairline, I apply the first layer once it's dry clear, then I apply the second layer once it's dry clear, then I apply the third layer before it's time to apply the closure. After applying the ghost bond glue to three layers to my hairline, next using the Salon Pro um, hair glue in my spritz, I'm going to start to apply the glue to my 7x7 seven seven lace closure and I'm going to apply the glue directly on the line at the edge of the closure and then once I apply the glue I'm going to take my spritz and spray the edge of the closure this just helps give an extra hold alright so a quick weave glue is very simple once I put the glue on I just went and put the hairline on the ghost bind glue and then I just flip it back and I position the hairline just to get it to melt into the glue first. I make sure that the hairline is secure and placed onto my ghost bind glue first and melt it before I went into the back to secure the back with the hair glue. Once the front part of the closure is secured down, I go in the back and make sure to stick the hair glue part down off the closure and stick it onto the stocking cap. After that, I take my blow dryer and I blow dry around the closure just to make sure that the closure is secure and the closure is in place. Alright, so once I have my closure secure, both in the front and in the back, at this point, if you want uh, baby hair and stuff, you can definitely add your baby hair. I don't care for baby hair much. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start to apply my bundles in the back. This is very simple. This is very quick. This will take you less than an hour to complete. Okay, so I'm just applying the glue to the tracks and i'm sticking it down i'm going from ear to ear and i'm sticking it down on my stocking cap so to apply the tracks i measure the tracks and then i cut off my measurements and then apply the glue and then apply it to the stockings. And I use my blow dryer and I blow dry it. This is as simple as it get to get your quick weave done in less than an hour, okay? All right, so we are at the end of this quick weave install. This is my last piece I did. Put the... Um, super bond glued on it and i am going to stick it and attach it right near the closure piece and then i'm just taking my blow dryer and i'm just going to blow dry the entire piece and this is pretty much it for this quick weave install okay i'm going to move on to styling now Quick weaves are very simple to do. They are easy to do. You just got to feel and touch, apply the glue, and apply it to your hair. But make sure you are securing your own hair, making sure that the glue is not going to damage your own hair. So make sure you add your protective shield. Make sure you add your stockings before applying the glue to your hair. Line, to your hair. All right, so moving on to styling, I did one of my center part. So I did went ahead and took my rat tail comb and clear out my part a little bit more. Then I went in with my hot comb 
to slick down my closure a little bit more so it's nice and sleek. All right, so after hot combing the entire closure, okay, for the rest of the hair, I did take some heat protector and spray the entire hair before I took my flat iron and flat iron the entire hair sleek, okay? And after flat ironing the entire hair, this is pretty much it for this quick weave 777 closure. This is very easy to do. Okay, you can achieve this in an hour, maybe adding styling time and flat iron another 30 minutes. But you can do this on yourself. It just takes um, time, a little bit of patience, and you can complete this. You don't have to braid your hair. You don't have to go through any type of stress with sewing, with needle and thread. You can do your quick weave. This is pretty much the finished look for this Instar, okay? I will leave all of Y Young um, hair links in the description box. If you want to check out this beautiful 7x7 um, seven seven closure with their um, Craig Brazilian bundles, okay, I will leave all the information in the description box for you guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. I love you, and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye.